Hello everyone, today we're talking about using gloves while deadlifting. So deadlifting that, you know, I've talked about these bars before, that cold, unforgiving steel can be really painful and especially the parts of the bar that have knurling, especially fresh bars, have really sharp knurling. All that is is it's little hatches in, or yeah, yeah, I guess hatches in uh, the, the barbell, in the steel or iron or whatever it's made out of. Uh, and, and it sticks out like little points, like kind of like little needles, but they're really, really dull. Uh, and it helps you grab the bar. It helps the bar stick to your hands. This can be pretty painful, <laughs> as many new lifters uh, will attest to, and as many old lifters will remember, it can be pretty painful. Um, I would, you know, I've talked about the knurling, but I don't think it's necessarily just the knurling. You'll, you'll find that the callus patterns that get on the hands, right up here in the base of the fingers, the, the skin builds up, right? That's, that's where your callus is. And so uh, as I hold the bar in my palm, my skin kind of pushes out there, right where those calluses develop. And as we start to roll the bar out, as our grip starts to fail, it pulls that skin along. And that's where we get those, that callus formation. I think that even if you don't have knurling on the bar, it's still going to do that to you. So it's kind of a pain, right? And it, that pinching can be really uncomfortable. And it gets a lot better. And that's that's kind of the main message of this, this video is you should maybe put up with it because <laughs> if you do want to put gloves on the bar, you have to consider that you're making the diameter that you hold thicker. So it's much easier to hold closed something that's this big rather than something that's this big, right? If I have a really fat grip on my deadlift bar, it's much harder to hold. And so I'm going to limit the amount of weight that I can use. I'm going to limit the amount of stress that I can put on my lower body uh, in developing it, right? Good stress, not, not random driving in traffic stress, but good working out, make me a stronger person stress. And so gloves are not quite fat grips, but they are partially towards that direction, right? So uh, if you're a surgeon, maybe you need that. Um, you got to be very particular about your hands. It's a, it's a huge investment. If you have, I don't, I don't know if you do any other detail kind of work, if you, uh, if you notice any issues, I work with a lot of programmers. A lot of them have wrist issues. Most of the time, holding onto a bar is totally fine, though. So... Uh, don't use my generalizations as any sort of recommendation. Try it out. See what works for you. If you really want to try the gloves, you go ahead. Just don't tell me because it just it, uh, parts of me die. <laughs> um, and, and that's basically it. So you have to understand that it will limit the amount of load that you can use. You could use gloves in concert with some sort of uh, uh, wrist strap to tie you to the bar. Uh, last point I do want to make is sometimes that, you know, we talked about reducing the diameter. Uh, sometimes increasing the diameter a little bit gets you more uh, sensation on your hand. Your hand is uh, a big portion of the feedback that we send to our brain. If you Google the homunculus, uh, it makes that abundantly clear, right? Sometimes grabbing a bar that is too small doesn't give me enough feedback, doesn't let me squeeze as hard as I can because my fingers start to get in the way. So instead what I can do is I can increase the diameter. Maybe gloves are doing that. Maybe you're wrapping a towel slightly around the bar. Maybe it's just a thin towel. Maybe it's a thicker towel. I don't really know. And sometimes that extra diameter can actually help, can help you feel better and can help you lift more weights. Um, those are my thoughts though on lifting with gloves.